Okay, so we're gonna start by really sort of observing our subject here. This is this beautiful still life we're going to be drawing of this vase of flowers. I've got kind of a, um, almost like a circle spherical looking vase at the bottom or vase. And then I have a few pops of these beautiful pink flowers and some bursts of greenery. So I'm just gonna sketch that down here using my pencil. Um, I have this wonderful square piece of paper. And I'm gonna just start by drawing a horizon line right about in the middle of the page. Okay, and that's gonna show me my, my foreground from what's behind. If you look here, if we're kind of looking down at this, you see the horizon line might be the edge of my table and beyond that is the rest of the yard. So that's what this is. Then I'm gonna come back in and start to draw my um, vase. It's this sort of roundish, rounded shape. You can use any shape that you like. Mine looks like this. There's a little lip to it that's like this. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly sketch that in. And then I'm gonna begin to draw my flowers. I see a line that kind of comes down into the water and way up here. And another branch of leaves that kind of comes back like this. And another that comes over here. Then I have another flower that's sort of drooping over the front like this. Okay. You can see here. Got the sticks in the water few branches that are going to be supporting my my still life and what we're doing here is you know how there's like bubble cutting or careful cutting we can just bubble cut our flowers um if you will we're just i'm just going to put in these kind of little bursts of where the color is going to be i see some up here Ooh. i see some Right here, some flowers, a little burst of flowers here. Here's some over here. And I'm just sort of looking at what I'm drawing and then I'm looking back up at my vase of flowers, my still life. Okay, so now we have just a rough sketch. Oh, I also have these big leaves here. I'm gonna put in a couple of these large leaves. Here's one, just boom, like that. One over here, there's like another big one up there. And that adds a little one here and there. I'm gonna maybe add a leaf behind this one. What else here? Okay. I also have a water line I'm noticing. This is where my water is. I just gotta draw that in. Okay. I'm going to add a couple leaves here, check my sketch, take my time with it. So like I'm just kind of roughly drawing in all of these leaves and flowers, nothing too specific, okay? Put my pencil down, I'm pretty much done with my sketch there. And I am going to closely observe my still life again. I'm seeing greens, I'm seeing pinks. You might have this type of palette at home and that's perfectly fine. You can, you can use your red for your flowers or whatever colors you're using from nature. So um, I'm going to use this slightly larger palette. It has a few more colors pre-mixed in there. I'm going to go back here for the um, fuchsia. That looks most like this color. So I wet my brush first. You'll notice I have here this rag, really important to kind of manage how wet the brush is and clean the brush between colors. I'm gonna load my brush up here. And this is a really dry palette, so I'm, I'm gonna add quite a bit of water. It's called watercolor because there isn't water in the pigment already. We're just adding water to it. Pigment is the paint color. We're gonna just add that load my brush up, really get it. Now, if your paints are a little bit sticky or wet already, you're just gonna kind of gently dab it in there, okay? 
come back over and I'm just gonna start working on my bursts, my bubble cut flowers here. And I'm not gonna paint the whole thing in because I, I wanna come back in with some other colors to create depth and interest. So I'm just gonna give, loading up again, just gonna give these little bursts but not fill it in all the way. Little squiggly lines here, little dots, okay? Here's some up here. Yep. Let's see, let me look back at my arrangement. Yes, there's some, I, I sketched some in right here. And over here, okay. Now I'm gonna come back in. I'm looking very closely at my flowers. I see lots of different colors happening here. I see dark, oh hi, there's my dog. Hi Ruby. What a good girl, what a good girl. <laughs> I see lots of different colors. This is not just one color. I see light pink, dark pink in there. So I'm gonna go back in and choose a light color. I see this bright light pink here. And if you're using this, you could use maybe red and orange or red and yellow or, you know, sort of two different colors. You're the artist, so you get to choose. And I'm over here kind of loading up my brush again, reconstituting my paint with water. I got this really nice bright one down here. Maybe I'll use that. Okay. Loading up the brush and back in. So I'm going to just, without scrubbing, I don't want to scrub, I'm going to go around my little bubble flowers, loading the brush up with a different color just to add interest again and some depth, right? Because we don't want our flowers to look flat. We want them to look like there's a lot of, there are flowers that are closer to us, some behind. There's a lot of depth here. Some's close, some's far. Some are close, some are far. Okay. All right. Okay, so coming back in here for my final squiggles. All right, there are my flowers. Looks a little bit like that one. All right, next I'm gonna rinse out the brush. I've grabbed a couple different brushes here, a big square one, a little teeny one, and then this one. I'm just kind of using this one right now. I'm not needing to switch out brushes, so you really don't need more than one, but some people might like to use different ones. All right, back into the water. I'm gonna grab some green because of my leaves and my greenery. Um, okay, grab a little bit of green. And again, I'm just gonna come back in. I'm just painting half of my leaves at first. Grab a little more. I'm just gonna do half of each leaf at first. And then I'm gonna come back in with a different green again to give it that depth, that interest. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this up. Grab a different color. This is like the other side of the leaf. Okay, so we have two sides. There's the line in the middle and there's this side. Ooh, I'm painting it and that side. So just sometimes they look a little different. One's in the light here, so it's lighter. This side's a little bit darker. So that's what I'm doing by putting different colors in my leaves. All right, I got kind of a Kelly green and then a bit of a kind of an army green happening for each leaf. Good, quick. Quick and easy. Now I'm looking back at my vase and I see some sticks going down into my water. So I'm gonna go over here and grab some of this brown. There we go. And just bring that in there. Okay. more here. Kind of tracing over my um, 
six. Now, finally, let's paint our vase. I'm gonna give it kind of a light blue. Um, actually, I might give the water a little bit of a light blue color because that reminds us of water. I'm just gonna come in here, careful not to paint, whoops, not to paint directly over um, what I've done here because it will run together. Kind of, again, bubble painting around. And I don't even need to fill in all the white paper spaces. You'll notice I have lots of white paper spaces showing between my flowers. And that, that is not only okay, that adds really a lot of, uh, coming in here, a lot of air, a lot of space. Okay, so now you can kind of tell that we have a vase there without, um, actually having to paint in the whole vase. You just kind of can tell it's there. All right. Cool, and that looks a little like glass. Now, I feel like painting um, in a bright table for this to be sitting on. I mean, out here it's on a piece of um, newsprint, but now I get to use a little creative license, and I'm gonna go for um, like this over here, this, uh, orangish. And again, if you're using a palette like this, you can mix colors together. You can, you know, if I want to get like a light orange, I'll use a little bit of light. Mix in a little bit of yellow. Okay. And now I'm just going to come from my horizon line, going around my leaf without um, kind of painting over what I've done there because um, Again, the watercolor will spread into one another. So I'm really painting around my, um, around what I've already done here. There we go. Okay. This is wiggling around. So now I can decide if I want to do anything in the background or if I want to leave it just white. Hmm. I'll think about that. I think I'm going to do, this is where the artist gets to use a lot of choice. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I'm going to do a light yellow background. A little bit of yellow. There we go. Ooh, I've got, I still have orange on my brush. I'm going to have to clean that off really well. Okay, let me grab this one over here. There we go. Light yellow in the background. Just bubble dabbing quick and carefree. Okay, there we go. There's my still life of these flowers that I picked from a tree outside my front yard. That's all I gotta do is gather some, some uh, wild flowers or something from your garden and um, bubble sketch it, and then drop some paint on there and you're good to go. All right, happy painting, have fun.